I think it's best if I stay at a distance for this one. All right, just a peek. Viciousness marker. Now the thing I've found about a lot of these products they have in common is <clears throat> they don't produce anything that isn't already there. They're enhancers, they're amplifiers. So some results may vary. I've tried for very long to contain my viciousness. I can get vicious when I'm cornered, when I'm hurt, when I'm attacked. I can get pretty damn vicious, but I keep it in. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see the vicious side of you. You know, calm down. Don't start fights. And, unless you're fighting against injustice, then they're like, be as vicious as you can get. And so that's how I allow it to stay. Up to the side, down deep. Because an injustice just rankers like a canker. And you just come up with interesting ways what you would do if you had a chance. Now you're thinking to yourself, oh, violence, viciousness equals violence. Not always, not always. And in the best of circumstances, not at all. That's too easy, okay? Violence is poor impulse control. You know, people that attack you and beat you up, they don't have anything to say. They don't have anything to think. So they just gotta go, Ugh. Or they'll, they'll beat you till you die. You know, murderers and serial killers. They, they got no impulse control. They're like children. They know it. They have no impulse control. They're like, oh, I wish I could stop, but they can't. Just like, you know, you have a lot of candy on Halloween because you can't stop eating the candy. Doesn't mean you're vicious to the candy, but you're taking a vicious bite out of that bag. I try to keep it in. But there's just some people that deserve to have some sort of thing happen to them after they've done everything to you and to others. <clears throat> but you gotta be smart about this, you see? You can be super vicious. You know, somebody wrongs you. Somebody steals your girl. Somebody steals your girl when you're at the lowest point in your life and you can really use a girl right now You've never had a girl, and you've been trying for years, and nobody else tries this hard. And it's not like you can't talk to girls. You can, but they're like, oh, you're so nice. You're just, you're just like one of the girls. You're easy to talk to. You're not so macho. Wow, you're just like my best friend. I could never have sex with my best friend. And you're like, <sighs> and so then there's a girl that's like, hey, I like what you're throwing down. And you're like, seriously? Because I am at the lowest point in my life right now. And I could really use this. Alright, cool. Hey, did you see that? That was awesome. What do you mean you want her to? No, you never. What are you talking about? No, I told you I hate people that try to compete with me. I already have no luck. I don't need. No, come on, man. I'm at the lowest point in my life. You know this. You're doing it anyway. You succeeded. Huh. Huh. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to destroy you utterly. You had the opportunity to be cool, help out a friend. You decided to have your little fun and totally fuck me over. I would never have done that to you, dude. And to prove that I would never have done that to you, even though I was at the lowest point in my life and I could really use that, I still was like, oh, I, I, I sort of want to help you. I'm your mentor kind of guy. I 
got you to talk to girls first. And I can talk to girls just like they become my best friend's friends on. It's just, you know, because I'm so good at that. You know, it's not like, oh, hi, I'll hold your purse. I'm like, no, no. You got to say to them, you got to say that. And they're like, you are so right. I'm like, yes, I know. I understand. They're like, I'm going to go tell that guy who's not you exactly what you told me. So thank you. I'm like, no. And you stole her away from me. So now you must be destroyed. And not in a, I'm going to get you. Mm. You thought I destroyed your car. Why would I destroy your car? For one thing, witnesses. It's on the street. For another thing, why would I go to all the effort when I can destroy you? So what I do is, is I wait for a few decades. Yeah, just a couple. Give you a, a false sense of security. Maybe even build you up a little bit. Maybe work behind the scenes and, oh, this guy, oh, you know, I'm telling somebody about your accomplishments so that they can work with you, you know, and build up your, and then, when you got a pretty good, like, handle on things, you think everything's kind of cool, that's when it's going to kick in. Right when you're, like, feeling good and cruising along, I'm going to destroy your reputation first. And then I'm going to destroy your liberties. And then I'm going to destroy your credit and your credibility and your sanity and your health, not kill you, but just make you so fucking weak, distraught, that you want to kill yourself. That's the kind of destruction I'm talking about. I don't have to lay a finger on you. And you will just be destroyed. And then, when you are at your fucking lowest point, that's when I will swoop in, and the decision will be, do I kick you while you're down, like you did to me, or do I pick you up again and say, hey, see, I told you I never would have done that to you without telling you the fact that I put you in the ground in the first place, and now I'm going to dig you back up. You'll be an undead zombie. And I hate zombies. They're stupid. So I tell you what to do. I tell you when to eat, to sleep. I tell you what work you must do, what chores. You will eat shit for the rest of your fucking life because of what you did to me. That's vicious. And that's why I keep this motherfucking pen close by at all times.